Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my Instagram versus everyday makeup look. So this side is my Instagram makeup and this side is my everyday makeup as you probably can tell. So I had a lot of fun filming this video and realising how much makeup I use for Instagram makeup and how much I use for everyday makeup or how less I use for everyday makeup which is just crazy and um, so you'll see the difference in products and everything so if you do want to see how I do my two different makeup looks then please keep watching hey guys so to begin with I'm going to start with my Instagram side which is going to be this half of my face so to begin I'm going to use the professional benefit pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores primer just going to apply this to the side of my face which I'm using for the Instagram side. I'm going to dot it around and rub it in with my fingers. I don't know why but my eye bags are looking really bad today. Um, I don't wear primer on my everyday makeup look so I'm only applying it to this half of my face. And then next up I'm going to apply the my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and this is in the shade Sand. I'm just going to squirt half, uh, actually one pump should be enough, just under one pump onto the back of my hand and then I'm just going to dot it around this side of my face. I don't know why, I know a lot of people don't do this but I actually prefer to put my foundation on before I do the rest of my face. Um, I don't know why, I just prefer it that way, so this is the way I am going to do it. And then I'm going to use this Nanshi Beauty Sponge to blend my foundation. that the foundation on this side of the face is done I'm now going to put foundation to my everyday side of the face and for the foundation on this side I'm using the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and this is in the shade Stromboli and it's almost finished it's literally right at the bottom now because <laughs> I literally use this every day so for this I'm going to use just one pump full pump and same thing, I'm going to dot it around my face. For this one, I'm going to blend the foundation in with my Real Techniques stippling brush. And this is just what I use every day, um, especially when I'm work, getting ready for work in the mornings. It's a lot quicker for me, I find, to use this brush because I can just swirl it in like this. Um, so this is why I use the stippling brush for my everyday foundation rather than the sponge. So obviously there's probably going to be a bit of a shade sort of difference on my face as well because I'm not using the same foundation. The Stromboli one is a little bit yellower than the Too Faced one but I just prefer, like when I'm going to have like a heavy face of makeup with a lot of makeup I prefer wearing the Too Faced one because it's more thicker, um, fuller coverage foundation. Okay, so now the foundation is done on my everyday side as well. On the Instagram side, I'm going to apply the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC42. And I'm just going to put this um, to conceal my dark circles under my eyes. So I'm literally just going to put a tiny, tiny bit on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to use my ring finger 
and dab this underneath my oh, wrong side. I'm gonna just dab this underneath my eye. I'm so used to doing it on both sides that it's so difficult to just do it on one side. And then to blend this in properly, I'm going to use the Nancy sponge. Okay, and then next up, I'm going to highlight and conceal. And to do this, I am going to use the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age, the Eraser Eye Perfect and Cover Concealer. And this is in the shade oh, Nude. So, <clears throat> just gonna apply this to the Instagram side as well because I don't generally highlight on my everyday makeup at all. Um, literally my everyday makeup is the most simplest and quickest makeup. Um, so this is going on my Instagram side. I'm just gonna do it underneath my eye. So in the usual highlighting areas. On my chin, Cupid's bow, and my nose. But just on one side. <laughs> um, and my forehead. And I'm just going to blend this in again with the Nunchy sponge. Next up I'm going to set my Instagram side um, with the Ben Nye Banana Powder. To apply this powder, firstly what I usually do is I sprinkle the powder into the lid, so how much I think I'm going to need. I'm just sprinkle it all in. And then I'm going to use the Morphe N554 brush to apply this. I just dab the brush in the powder, tap off the excess, and then I just apply to the areas that I highlighted. Also what I usually do is I set put the setting powder in the area which underneath where I'm actually going to contour and then I just brush it off. So next up for my Instagram side I'm going to contour my cheekbones so to do this I'm going to be using the Bahama Mama bronzer powder from the by the Balm Cosmetics and to apply this I'm going to be using the Morphe M438 brush so I just dab this in the powder Tap off the excess and then apply to my usual contouring areas. And I also blend with the same brush as well, so once the product's applied, I then just keep blending it. And you can apply more product if you want to. Um, so I usually just apply some more, a little bit more if I think it needs to be a little bit more contoured. I'm gonna contour across my jawline as well a little bit. Okay, that's usually the all the areas that I contour. I don't usually do more than that. Next, I'm going to apply some highlighter 
to the top of my cheekbones and to my cupid's bow and on my nose as well. So the highlighter that I will be using is the MAC Soft and Gentle Minimalize Skin Finish Highlighter. And to apply this I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Contour Brush. I just like the way the shape of this brush for highlighting. Um, so I only use this to actually highlight the cheek, I don't use it to highlight anywhere else. Maybe like a dab on my cupid's bow. So I'm just going to apply this here. If I, don't, if I feel like I'm not getting enough highlighter on with the brush, then what I do is I take my ring finger, dab it in the highlighter powder, and then I just dab it on my cupid's bow and on my nose as well. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so once all the highlighter is applied, um, next up I am going to move on to the eyes. So for the Instagram side, I'm going to be applying eyeshadow. Um, so to begin with, to prime my eyelid, I'm going to be using the MAC Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And I'm just going to apply this with my ring finger onto my eyelid. Okay, so now that my eyelid is now primed, I'm going to start putting the eyeshadows on. So for my eyeshadow look today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And to begin with, I'm going to apply to the whole of my eyelid the shade Mousse, which is just here. On there. To apply this, I'm going to be using the Morphe G26 makeup brush. And I'm just going to dab this in, tap off the excess, ex, excess, <laughs> excess, and just apply it to the whole of my eyelid. So next I'm going to apply the colour in my crease and the colour that I'm going to be applying in the crease is the peanut butter shade, that one there. And to apply this I'm going to be using the Morphe S20 brush. the colour in my crease I'm just going to blend it all out with the Morphe M139 eyeshadow brush So now I'm going to apply a darker shade into the outer V of my eye. For the outer V I'm going to apply the colour Cocoa Chili. And to apply this I'm going to use the Morphe S20 brush again. Sorry if I keep squinting, my contact lenses are really dry. Um, I've had them in for absolutely ages today, so apologies for that. I can see I'm just a little bit I'm struggling a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to put this in the outer V. Okay, and then I'm going to blend it out with the same blending brush that 
I just used a minute ago. Okay, then what I usually do once I'm done with the eyeshadow is I'll just take the Maybelline concealer that I used previously and just to neaten the eyeshadow up here, I literally just drag it along just to give it a sharp, clean finish along the bottom there. And then I just take the blending sponge and just dab that in. Okay, so now that my eyeshadow is done, what I usually do next um, is apply my false eyelashes. So today I'm just going to be using the Red Cherry um, lashes in the Demi Wispies, the Red Cherry Demi Wispies, and they're a bit all over the place in the packaging because I've used them before. Okay, to apply these lashes, I'm going to be using the Duo Lash Glue in the Dark Tone. So I've applied my eyelashes. Now I'm just sorry. I'm just going to apply some mascara. So I'm going to apply it to the false lashes and my real lashes on my everyday side, and to the bottom lashes on both sides. Right, so now I'm applying it to my everyday side as well. Sorry, I don't think I said which mascara I'm using. I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Mascara. And I'm using the same mascara on both sides because this is the only mascara I use at the moment. my eyes are done on both sides of the face, Instagram side and the everyday side, I'm going to do my eyebrows on both sides and everyday and Instagram side, I actually do the same brow because I always have my brows done for every makeup look that I have. So to do my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder and this is in the shade Dark Brown. apply this I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Angled Brush. Finally guys, I'm going to be doing the lips for both sides of my face, for the Instagram side and the everyday side. So for the everyday side, I am going to be wearing the Bobbi Brown, yes I still have it in the box, the Bobbi Brown uh, Brownberry Art Stick, I think that's what it's called. And I love this colour, so this is why I pretty much wear it all the time. So I'm just going to apply this to my everyday side firstly. Okay, so that's applied to my everyday side. And then for my Instagram side, I'm going to first line my lips with the Kiko Automatic Precision Lip Liner in the shade 504. It's like a brownie nude. I'm just going to line my lips firstly. Okay, so now the lip liner is applied on this side, I'm going to apply the lipstick and for the lipstick I'm applying the MAC Well lipstick. Just going to apply this on my Instagram side.
So that is my face complete. This is my Instagram side and this is my everyday side. So as you can see, this is a lot more heavier and just a lot more makeup, a lot more with the eye going on. My everyday look, I think I literally use like three products. I use the foundation, mascara, oh sorry, four products. Foundation, mascara, eyebrow powder and lipstick. And then for this side, how many products do I use? Primer, foundation, matte concealer, Maybelline concealer, setting powder, um, bronzer for the contouring, highlighter, eyebrow powder, mascara, eyelashes, eyelash glue, lip liner, lipstick. It's like endless, like I think I'm already on 13. I don't know if I've missed any out. Um, but yeah, so this is the difference between my two looks. So this is the two looks. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Um, I do have a lot more exciting videos coming this year, so please make sure that you're subscribed so you can stay posted for them videos. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.